Welcome back everyone, I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com and we're currently playing Project Spark on the Xbox One. Uh, which you got done recording the first part and since it moved on to a second level, I thought I'd just kind of start another video here. And this is known as The Pursuit. So we're just going through pretty much the campaign and then afterwards we'll, um, you know, some of the other options in the game. So I'm going to continue playing as Scarlet because that's the one I started to level up and is already at level They'll 3. Or level 2 and getting closer to level 3. With a treacherous path ahead of them, the team set out to track down the goblins and retrieve the rune stone. Alright, if you missed part 1, basically uh, we were at a, a festival. Then a group of goblins attack, and this big guy killed his old guy and uh, took the ruin. So now we're on a quest to uh, pretty much get it back. So you didn't miss too much. There's a little bit of platforming here, so uh, probably find some hidden chests. So not too bad of a find. Can we go on these? Oh, sweet. Can. I just gotta continue. Okay, what's happening? That's not good. Stunning discovery: creation orbs, a vast new source of energy, enough to build a much-needed bridge. All right, so press R B. Near a cluster of creation orbs allows Spark to overcharge its power. Right, so that's basically the game already doing it itself, so it might be an option later on. But yeah, we just got those creation orbs and made ourselves a bridge. When they finally reached the observatory, they discovered to their dismay that it no longer worked. It had been corrupted with a code glitch, an error in the very fabric of its being, its code. That's not a good thing. Got some interactive barrows that we'll probably save it because there'll probably be a battle afterwards. I'm just making a gander. The team would need to fix the code glitch to use the observatory. Luckily, Spark could use its special abilities to enter objects, read the code inside, and even rewrite it if needed. This, however, would require our champion to seek out some very special tools, code glyphs, to do the job. Alright, so we have a missing rod, elevator, so we just need to go gather some resources. So, probably in here. Uh, I think here's one, right? No, that's not one. Gotta hard to see with all those trees. Oh yeah, battle. A corrupted berserker arrives on the battlefield. These fearsome foes become enraged when their health gets low. Oh, that's not good. Kind of reminds me of Shadow of Mordor, where the enemies become much more powerful. There you go. Let's go ahead and grab this. Using its ability to commune with the code glyph. Spark extracted one of the code tiles needed to repair the observatory and fix the glitch. Alright, sweet nether achievement. Challenge accepted. Looks like we're going to have a bigger battle up here. Bunch of weird guys here. Is that an ally? 
Oh, I guess it was an ally. But not anymore. Oh, okay, so that's how it happened. Oh, you destroyed my ally, that's not right. Come on now. Jeez, these guys come out of nowhere. journeyed further into the valley, they spotted another spark, imprisoned by the goblins. The spark seems to be in great pain. Were the goblins siphoning its energy? I don't know, you tell me. Looks that way. I'm the only one who walks away. Uh oh. <laughs> that wasn't good. Sweet, level up. After vanquishing the goblins and freeing the captured spark, the mystical creature showed its gratitude by creating power to the fan and lighting the way. Well, that was very nice of him. Go ahead and grab this item, though. And this one. So that should be everything that we need. Awesome. And, yeah, chest. Those are always good to find, so you never know. And I don't think there's anything else in this area. I just have to go back to the elevator and I should be able to uh, get access to whatever it is that I need to get access to. I should hear something back here. Not, not be uh, a lot of experience, but it's something. So here you just gotta kind of do a little roundabout. Oh, there's another chest. Come on, show me the goods. Uh, 20 experience, not much. But at least it's something. Never knew what hit him. Of course they're not gonna know what hit him. So hope I can do this now. Yep, got to feed the enemies. Alright, I got this. Just gotta keep unleashing the charge shot. Alright, how about now? Sweet. Alright, so when and do. Is there a difference between these? The interact tile shows if an object has been interacted with. The power on tile powers up an object and any others it's connected to. The team successfully repaired the broken code. Oh yeah, this is kind of like one of the little programming codes that you'll use when you're uh, making your own personal levels or game. It's kind of something that, at first it's going to be confusing, but as time goes on, you eventually get used to it. With the switch fixed, the team rode the lift to the top. 
There they discovered an opening to a hidden cave where the goblin chieftain must have retreated to. Ah, I want to get up there. I thought there was going to be something back here. That's if these guys will let me through. Sending the whole army out here. Man, these guys take a lot of hits. Sheesh. That crap load of them. All right, leveled up again. Sweet. Let's see. Hold B to leave behind a decoy. Sweet. It's always nice to have a useful ability. The team entered the mysterious cave with cautious excitement, for they had never been closer to recovering the rune stone. Alright, so this is the next chapter, so anyways, if you guys have any questions, leave that in the comment section down below, and always remember guys, Gamer Fusion empowers your game.